Hello everyone and welcome back into Weather HQ. Today we're going to go over 10 facts of clouds, starting with number one. Clouds can weigh more than a million pounds. Cloud equals elephants times 100, as you can see on the picture on the right. Number two, cirrus clouds are made entirely of ice. This is because of how high up they are in the atmosphere. Most clouds are made of solid water droplets solid liquid water droplets number three shelf clouds appear mainly in the spring and summer this is because thunderstorms and severe weather are most common in the spring and in the summer here these are the scary clouds you look at and go oh my god it's the end of the world it's not though just an approaching thunderstorm number four zero means high Hence, we got zero cumulus clouds, as you see in the picture, zero status, and cirrus clouds. These are really high up in the atmosphere and are often associated with a departing storm. Number five, alto means middle. These are middle level clouds in the atmosphere. Alto cumulus and alto stratus get their names from being in the middle levels, just a few thousand feet between 6,500 and 23,000 23, feet in the atmosphere. Number six, strato means low. Strato cumulus, stratus clouds all sit very low. As you can see in the picture, these are all, look like they're almost touching the ground as you get closer to the horizon line here. That's because of how low these clouds are. Number seven, Nimbostratus, cumulus, and cumulonimbus are multi-level clouds here. You'll often see these, you can see these look like they're about to touch the ground and also look like they're about to touch the sky, even as high up as 60,000 feet with the cumulus nimbus clouds. Number eight, cumulus nimbus clouds are responsible for thunderstorms and tornadoes. These are the clouds that are, that grow really tall, thousands of feet, like I just mentioned and is usually the reason why it gets so dark before a storm because they're just towering, they're thick, they can block out all kinds of sunlight. Number nine, <clears throat> clouds are white because water droplets scatter light in all directions. This is caused because when light shines on the water droplets, it scatters it. Uh, because it's crystal clear, if they were black, they would absorb all the colors and we'd see black, but since it's white, and since water droplets are shiny, they're going to reflect back, and we'll see white. Just pure white. Number 10. Nimbus means rainy cloud in Latin. Hence, nimbostratus, cumulonimbus, both clouds have this in common. They produce rain. And nimbostratus are typically dark, and underneath the cumulonimbus cloud is typically dark too. It actually also means dark cloud. Fun fact. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. If you want to see more videos like this, please leave feedback. That's always greatly appreciated. And let me know if you want a part two or what other top 10 weather videos you want to see. Have a great day.